Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's my palette from Charlotte Tilbury. This literally came out a few days ago and I really wanted to give it a go. I thought I would film a review slash first impressions on it as well because I thought like, there wasn't that many videos on it. Obviously it's just come out and I thought it would be quite useful to, for other people to see how I get on with it. Um, I have got the original Pillow Talk palette literally with me and it is honestly one of my favourite palettes, if not the favourite palette. I've completely nearly like used it up, well these two shades anyway, um, since I got it and I got it in about August so I literally love it, I use it pretty much every day, it's easy to travel with, it's great. Um, this one its own is £40 and then this Pillow Talk Instant Eye palette was £60. So. For £20 more, you're getting an extra eight eyeshadows, an extra eight eyeshadows, so you're essentially getting three times the amount of product for you know, £20 more. Um, if you buy it through Charlotte Tilbury, you can always get a code if you sign up to the newsletter, which means you get like 10% off, so I actually got it for 54 so for me it's £14 more for three times the amount of product, which I think is really, really good. So this is it, this is the packaging, it's beautiful, baby pink and then this really nice like rose gold detail and then that is just the bag again it's all kind of foiled it's beautiful got my laptop here so i'm just going to read a little bit more kind of about what charlotte hillbury themselves say about the palette dreamy 12 shade palette including champagne and soft pink eyeshadows for four pillow talk eye glow looks this is limited edition like i said it's 60 pounds so it's quite expensive but it does look beautiful so to take it out of the packaging this is the packaging as you can see, it's very reflective and then covered in fingerprints, which is great. Did open it, just have a little look at it before. And that's the back. So this is gonna be a palette that is gonna just get covered in fingerprints, it's so metallic. And then you've got the little Charlotte Tilbury under them as well. Then you get this little plastic card, which kind of tells you what to do, so it is Prime Enhanced Smoke, which is their kind of way of doing really easy eye looks, which is good. Good to kind of have that in there. And then this is the palette. So again, it's all gold inside, and then it's split into the three, like I said. So this one here, I think is Day. This one is Desk. This one is Date, and this one's Dream. And Dream is one I'm definitely most excited about. How I'm gonna do it is kind of split it up into what they split it up in and see what looks I can create. Still gonna put eyeliner on, still gonna put normal lashes on and mascara so that I can see for myself how I like it. And then you guys can kind of see it as well. The one thing that I will say is this one here, the day one, does look super similar to the Pillow Talk normal palette. So I'm, I'm gonna see how it goes. Obviously I do know the Pillow Talk palette kind of quite well. So I know that, I know how it's gonna look. Did these two here, look like like these two i'd say so you maybe would need both um i'm gonna try it anyway like i said okay google what is seven divided by 12. the answer is approximately 0.583333 just quickly before i get into the eye looks i've just checked how much power eyeshadow is but 0 0.5 grams which is okay i mean it's not a huge amount of product for 60 pounds but it's okay Okay guys, I just brought you in a little bit closer just so you can properly see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna start with the day look. Okay, so I'm gonna first of all take my Spectrum B06. Um, it's just like a like normal fluffy brush. And I'm gonna take the first day shade, which is this one here. And I'm gonna do it how Charlotte Tilbury kind of recommended it, which is put the first shade, which is, it is a shimmer. They say to put it all over your lid to kind of prime it. So I'm gonna do that first. I'm not a huge fan of kind of putting glitters down as a base, but we will definitely see. I can't even really see that. So that is the first shade in the day. There is kind of like a lot of fallout. I don't know if you can see in the pan there. There's quite a, quite a bit of fallout, but yeah, it's fine. So the next brush I'm going to take is the Spectrum B07, which is this one. It looks dirty, but it's just, it's just stained. And take the second shade in, which is this one here. 
and that is the enhanced shade and they say to just sweep this over the lid it's definitely very shimmery they're applying nicely though so i'm just going to take the spectrum b07 again um to use on the third shade which is a smoke shade which is this one here and you're meant to use this one in your crease and on your lash line so i will sort the brush for the lash line but i'll pop this through my crease now i'm going to just try and build this up a little bit because this is just slightly too subtle for me it does look quite nice actually this is beautiful for just like an everyday day look and when I put lashes on like it will just I think kind of help with that. I'm gonna take the Spectrum B12 which is just like a little pencil brush and then use that third smoke shade which is this one here and just pop this on my lash line. does quite remind me of the original pillow talk um i'd say the original pillow talk smoke shade is actually a little bit deeper and i'm just gonna put this in the outer corner as well just to kind of define the line a little bit then i'm actually gonna take on the pencil brush as well i'm gonna take that enhanced shade again and just reapply it because when i was blending the smoke shade through my crease it kind of disappeared and that is that look completed. I'm gonna pop some eyeliner on, I'm gonna pop some mascara on and some lashes on and I will get So this is just with liner and mascara. I totally think that you could probably get away with using just liner and mascara. I think it actually looks really pretty. If you wanted to put some lashes on, I'm gonna pop some on now it's just so you can see that as well. So I've just popped lashes on. They are really really natural. They're from this little Eyelure Enchanted lookbook apparently. Um, and then the style written in the stars and the mascara and liner that I used. I've used Bad Girl Bang from Benefit, it's just a little like travel size one. And then I've got just a natural collection. This is like the cheapest eyeliner and it's also the best, it's like two pounds something. Um, you can get it from Boots, it's great. Because I don't really do wings or anything, I just need a basic line and this is just great for that. So with lashes and liner, I definitely love it. I think it's so pretty, it's super, super glowy. And it makes my eyes just really, really stand out. So I'm just going to remove my eyeshadow and then go in with the second look, which is the desk look, which is these three here. So back in a minute. Okay, so the next look is the desk look, which is these three here. So we're going to do the same thing. I think I'm going to do it how they say to do it because it actually turned out okay. I was really, really doubting it last time and it actually turned out fine. So I'm going to try that again. So I'm going to use the same brushes, I'm just going to clean them off. So I'm going to use the Spectrum B06 again and take the prime shade. So the prime shade this time is matte. So actually I don't think, I think I'll probably like it more this time. It's actually quite dark, it's like a little bit, it's kind of caramelly. A really beautiful colour though. And I just want to add a little side note, my eyes are literally burning right now and I'm only on eye look number two. So I'm very concerned for the safety of my eyes and for what my eyes are going to look like in the morning. So I can guarantee they're going to be red and puffy. Next brush is Spectrum B07 again. Again, I'm just going to wipe it off. So I'm just going to blend the um, second desk shade, which is the enhanced shade. And this will go on the lid again. This one has a lot of kick up, if you can see that. Um, the first one wasn't too bad, but this one is pretty all out -y, so just be aware. And this one's like a really nice like peachy pink, which is beautiful. The mattes for it genuinely are very, very, very creamy. Yeah, I look kind of, I look kind of crazy, but it's actually really nice. This one's a more orangey rather than pink, which is nice. I'm just gonna clean off this brush a little bit, and then we're gonna go straight into the smoke shade, which is this one right here. This is the smoke shade. 
probably gonna take the first prime brush in a second and just really blend out that edge because it this one is kind of sticking a little bit. So I've got that first brush again and like I said I'm just gonna kind of blend this upwards and this still has some of the prime shade on it. Cool I like that. I take that same pencil brush the Spectrum A12 which is just a little pencil brush and then again just take that smoke shade. I'm gonna just pop a little bit of that same shade just on the outer corner again. And that's that, that's that little eye look. And then this is just what the lid looks like. And again, I'm just gonna pop some more lashes and mascara and eyeliner on. So I've just put lashes and mascara and eyeliner on and I really, really like it. I think with this look, for me, I definitely wanted there to be lashes. Like, I think because it's like a tiny bit dark, I just feel like I needed them slightly. Um, and again, these lashes are from the same Allure Enchanted, but except these ones are the Stargazer set. So they are these ones here. Um, and they are really, really nice. I think really, really easy to put on. I just put them on with my duo blue. Yeah, I actually really like it. So this is the finished look. I really, really like it. Next one that we'll be going on to is Date, which is these, these three here. So I will see you in a second. Okay, so this is the second time I'm filming this because I had music on in the middle of like me filming the clips and taking my makeup off and things like that. And I left the music on and I was literally talking over the music. So this is my second take. Okay, Google, stop. So we're taking the exact same brushes as I had taken. And I'm not even gonna bother cleaning them off because I've literally just already cleaned them off. So I'm gonna take that um, prime shade again. And what I did say when I use this is this is such a darker, like it's a dark prime shade. I would never generally use this as a prime shade. And the one thing that I did say is this one's slightly harder to blend, but I also do think that it will be the, the fact that my eye makeup has been taken off so many times. This shade is like one of those shades that you could just wear all over the eye and just pop a little lash on and some eyeliner and be like good to go. So I take that brush again. This is the B07 and I'm gonna take the enhanced shade. It's like the perfect, like beginner's easy smoky eye. Cool, happy with that. And then I'm gonna go in with our same B06 brush, then take the smoke shade from Date, which is this one here. The um, prime shade had a lot of kick up as well, I noticed the first time. Take the pencil brush, which is the A12 again. So then I'm going to just take that smoke shade, just pop it on the outer corner, like I kind of normally would do. And then I'm going to just take the first prime brush we used again and just go over all of that. And that is that one. So I'll pop lashes, liner and mascara on and I'll be back with you. Okay, so this is the date look finished. Pop some lashes on, uh, pop an eye a little bit of eyeliner on and pop some mascara on. And the lashes that I used, again, were from these little enchanted pack and they were the stars in your eyes one and i'll be using these ones for the next look as well okay, so this is the look so the next look i will be doing is the dream look which is these three so yeah i'll see you in a sec okay so now for the final look which is this one which is the dream set it's probably the one that i'm most excited about so again Taking the same brushes, I might as well kind of gone through the whole video, taking the same brushes. And first of all, I'm gonna take the Spectrum B06 again. So I'm gonna take the prime shade, which is this one here, and just go over the lid. So again, this is another shimmery prime shade.
feel like this would be good as a prime shade because this look I think is meant to be one of those like more like glowy, like gorgeous looks. And this is beautiful actually. And you know, I've never thought of really using it's you kind of like warned against using shimmers for your actual eyelid. Um before you put on anything else. And I actually love it. I think it looks stunning. Okay, so I really like I really, really like that actually. The one thing that I do think the palette is missing slightly is a highlight shade. It doesn't really, I mean, that I guess you could use as a highlight shade, but it's not, I don't know, it's not overly like highlightery. Then I'm going to take the enhanced shade on the Spectrum B07 again, all over the lid. And with these, there is a lot of fallout, like, I'm not even going to lie, because they're obviously shimmers. I don't mind like cleaning them up after. Again, stunning, I wouldn't want to put any more on. And then I'm gonna take the B06 again and go into that smoke shade. a bit similar to the last one where when I tried to work the crease through it just takes off all the shimmer what we're gonna do is take the pencil brush I'm gonna smoke out that bit and then I'm gonna add shimmer again I'm gonna brush away some of this like out because there's genuinely loads of it. Okay, I like it. So I'm going to take the middle one again, so the actual enhanced one. Maybe on like a smaller brush. Yeah, definitely looks a lot better with this like smaller brush. So I'm going to do lashes, liner, and mascara, and then I will be back to speak about how I kind of think about the palette. Um, what I would maybe do differently, what I would change, etc. Be back in a second. Okay, so this is the fourth look, all completed with lashes, liner, and mascara. Same lashes as last time, and same mascara and liner as been the whole video. I really like this look. Actually, it's probably essentially my favourite. Um, I think it's really, really beautiful, and I think the shimmer is just gorgeous in it. So this is a little up close a bit. So I'm just going to move you back to where you were at the beginning and then we can have a chat about the palette. Okay, so I actually love this palette. I would definitely be using it a lot more and trying out different things. Like I said, I think they are lacking a highlight shade. Um, <laughs> it's beautiful, but I do think it's lacking just that highlight shade. You could use this one, but it's not that shimmery. So I, I don't know. It would work. Maybe just not as well as maybe I would want it to work. Um, but yeah, I would definitely, definitely recommend it. I think it is a really nice palette. £60 is a hefty price, but when you've got four different looks and they kind of take you from day to evening and parties and everything that you kind of would want, I think it's definitely worth it. And personally, if I had known about this palette, maybe before the Pillow Talk palette, I actually probably would have bought this one. Um, I think it's a lot better value for money than the Pillow Talk palette. Obviously, the Pillow Talk palette is £40 and there's four shades so it's 10 pounds a shade which i think is a lot of money i'm not saying that this isn't a lot of money but i do think that maybe this one is just slightly more worth it um and hopefully i won't hit pan as quickly on these because they've got so many different shades to pick from um so yeah i'm really really impressed with it i definitely will be using it more and if you wanted any more looks with it obviously i've done it the way that charlotte tilbury kind of recommends to do it that's not necessarily how i would have done it i think i definitely would have used different shadows differently but it still turned out beautiful and I definitely will be using her method again soon. Definitely for the day one, I, I probably actually would stick with using that one. For the dream one, I do think I'd use it differently. And again, for the other two, I think I probably would use it differently. My first impression is really, really good of it. Hopefully they last. I don't know if they will. Um, with these like shimmer shades, I know that I get a lot of transfer. Not necessarily with these ones, but with normal ones. So I'm hoping they don't transfer. 
like I said, if there's any other looks that you want to see with it, I could definitely do another video about this palette or any other palette that you guys are kind of interested in. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel and comment down below any other videos that you kind of want to see. Happy to do anything really. Um, my next video will definitely be more hair related. So if makeup's not really your the next video might be better for you. So hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye.